Hello, thank you for joining me again for another video. I appreciate you being here. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different because um, I want to be explaining some things. So if you have been watching the video, if you've been receiving the messages and you know, you're feeling it and everything's going well, great. I appreciate you. Please continue to um, provide the feedback because the feedback has been great. Um, but this, I have to be honest that my purpose is to help other people who are seemingly skeptics. My purpose here on this earth is to be able to put things in lay terms or layman's terms um, so that it can be understood by the simplest of mind and I hate to say it like that to make it seem like anybody's simple minded but that's not I don't mean to say it in a negative or derogatory way I just mean to say that some concepts are so obscure that it is hard for some minds to comprehend so I want to start out by um, explaining to you what is actually happening and why it's important to take heed to um, any type of cleanse, whether it's with me or if you're doing it on your own, great or whatever. Um, but I'm not doing this just because there's actually something that is going on that is imperative for individuals to be aware of or at least be aware of the fact that there's something that they needed to do. So, with that being said, let me explain to you what's going on. So, if you can grasp the concept of consciousness, what is the consciousness? It is that which resides within, that allows us to speak, um, that is how we are here, these bodies are but vessels okay um that is a definitely something i think a lot of people can understand is that we're bodies and souls are incarnated into those bodies when you pass on your vessels are no longer containing a life force or a soul or a consciousness okay so that's what a consciousness is it's, or your soul or the essence of your being that allows you to navigate these vessels. OK, so I hope you're with me so far. I hope that makes sense. So what is going on by what I mean, what's going on, what I mean, it's going on in the world, in the universe or wherever, just everywhere, because it is all present at all times. But us specifically. I should say that our earth, the consciousness of our earth and our consciousness, which are connected, we can talk about how they're connected or whether or not you believe the earth has a consciousness or not is irrelevant. The fact that you have a consciousness is what's more important. And your consciousness and along with everybody else's is due for an upgrade. Now, what do I mean by an upgrade? So if you can understand that our consciousness is like a computer, okay? And not just the computer monitor, but the tower or the, um, the I don't even know what it's called, but the part that processes all the information that can be put up onto a screen, okay? So that part where you can, um, I don't know, I don't know, depending on how old you are, you already know about like floppy disk and CD-ROMs and stuff. So the part where you could put a CD-ROM into, that's the part um, that I'm referring to that our consciousness is like, okay? So our consciousness and computers alike go through upgrades, okay? Computers go through an upgrade. The computer that was out, the first computer that came out years and years ago is not the same computer that's out today, Okay, because it's gone through changes, it's gone through upper upgrades, it's be, it can process things faster, it can process more information, it can do more than it could but when it first, you know, was established, just like our consciousness, our consciousness, these energetic beings, and we could talk about how everything is um, energetic, and I definitely will explain that, but just 
getting the idea or the the and I apologize if I'm like seem like I'm upset or I'm just not upset but just full of um full of I don't know but it's just like because I really feel passionate of passion there we go full of passion because I'm extremely passionate about it and um and I'm also understanding of my purpose and that this is why I'm here so again this is not to bash anybody or make anybody feel as though um I don't know what you could be feeling by how I'm coming off, but just know that again, this is coming from love and this is coming from me wanting to see people that I know that I'm personally connected with. And by personally connected with, I mean that you, your number was in my cellular device and therefore I am personally connected to you in some way. And I would not be doing my purpose if I did not at least get this information out to the people who, with whom I am connected. Okay. With that being said, going back to consciousness and the upgrade. Okay. So our consciousness is going through an upgrade, meaning that the way in which we perceive reality and the way in which we process information, the way in which we're, the way in which the mind does everything that it does is receiving an upgrade. Okay. And in order to get that upgrade, you have to, there's certain things that needs to be done. One of the things that, you know, can be done is the cleansing. So cleansing this vessel, because th this vessel has been loaded with toxins, environmental toxins, uh, toxins that you put in knowingly and unknowingly, and all of those things bombard your system. All those things, all those toxins that have a frequency of, it is, of its own is interfering with your frequency okay your energetic frequency and if you don't think that you have a frequency then by all means how do you think bluetooth works answer me that how does how is this microphone that i have connected to this device right now is it magic no it's not magic there's a frequency being let off from this device and they're communicating like that our bodies are the same way okay so the, everything in existence has a frequency has a vibration okay back to the consciousness upgrade our consciousness are being upgraded we're moving from one reality to another okay i don't even think that that is really me personally i don't really think that that is so hard to fathom it's really not that hard to fathom that we as energetic beings okay and so look here here's an example too about um energetic energy and frequencies you don't even gotta you don't even again you don't have to believe in energy and frequency to know that it exists so if you've ever been to the hospital or doctor or whatever and they've done an EKG what are they what are they measuring frequencies okay if you've ever had um any sort of type of um sleep study done to you or you had these electrodes you know hooked up to you or you know someone who um suffers from epilepsy you know what are they measuring they're measuring frequencies the brain frequencies frequencies of the heart okay um there just aren't there has not been a, a tool or a method for well maybe there is i don't know i because but because i don't need to know because i'm not the one who don't believe in the stuff okay if you the one who don't believe in energetic bodies and energetic beings and maybe you should be the one trying to figure out how to measure energy in a being not the heart not the mind but the actual body because the entire body is energy it is a frequency it is light okay and the more stuff you bombard it with the harder it is really for you to even see that um but it, again i apologize for the passion i apologize for the passion and this is how you know like not that I'm like, 
I, I, this video is different than the last one. The last one was my first one. Um, I was a bit nervous. I did have to get like all my staging and everything together, you know, sorry. Um, but I still, I mean, I still feel that way. Like I still feel as though presence matters. And I only feel that way because I, there's a certain audience that I'm trying to reach. And that audience is usually the one of judgment, which is fine because without you, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for you. I'm for, I'm here for y'all, the, the, the ones who are judging and the ones who are skeptical. I'm here for the skeptics. Like, you the reason why I got a job. I love you. Period. I do. The ones who aren't skeptic, the ones who are able to take this message and just be like, oh, okay, this is cool. I'm feeling this. I can get rid of this. Like, come on, more. Thank you. I, I appreciate you so very much. Um, your words are encouraging, your presence is en encouraging, your essence, your vibrational being is so, so encouraging because, but when you, you know, when you do stuff like this, you do open yourself up to that. And I knew that, I knew that, I knew starting this, that that was going to be a thing. And, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't let that hold me back. I couldn't let fear hold me back from my purpose I couldn't I just I couldn't but with that being said um so the consciousness is going through an upgrade I can get into that please contact me if you want to have like a more in-depth discussion or a more personal discussion because you know you might think that I'm like not trying to be personal but I mean I really am doing something here like I have a mission you know and this is how I have to do it and if it doesn't please you and, and I, I apologize for that um I will find a better way um not to be a people pleaser but because again my mission is to cater to those who are in doubt or have you know aversions to you know, differences and things like that. Like, I know that I have the ability to cater to that, to a wide range of people. That's why I don't use religious or biblical terms when I speak because I I don't want to exclude anybody. Um, religions are not meant for exclusion. That was not their original purpose, but that's what it ended up being like and therefore when people attach themselves to certain religions they tend to exclude other religions and even non-religious people even spiritual people i consider myself a spiritual person although i attend a church um but that's neither here nor there that's 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 neither here nor there um just know that i'm here for you okay i'm here for you Other thing I'm explaining um, about the cleanse and doing the breath work and why it's really important, and I promise you this is it. So why it's important to do the breath work and um, the energy healing? First off, I am a healer. That is my another one of my purposes, another one of my powers, so to speak. I've always been that way. I've known since I was a young child that that was something that I wanted to be into. I didn't know then that it was called healing but I knew that that was something that I could and back then I was like oh it's a doctor that's what do doctors heal people so that's what I want to do I want to be a doctor well I am that and then some okay and I own it because that's who I am and I'm proud of it and I love it I so much love it but the breath can be used for healing and I'm explaining to you, and if you get it, you get it. If not, then I can definitely go deeper. But it's, it takes more time to go deeper and to make it more simple. Okay, so I'm going to make it as simple as I can for the time that I have. Okay, so the reason why breath work works is because if you can think of everything that you see around you as having energy, right? We already discussed that. Everything that you see around you has energy. And everything that has energy is essentially a program. It's a program, like a computer program. Legit, it's a computer program. And programs are what? They're programmable. So how do you program something? How do you program, how do you program something? Your thoughts. Your thoughts that are a vibration and have a frequency. 
when you think a thought and when you also feel a feeling, so your emotions have frequency and your thoughts have a frequency and those two things together allows you to program all that is around you, even air. The air that you breathe is programmable to help you heal. So if you set the intentions to say that I want this air that I'm breathing in to heal because it's a substance, it's a molecular substance. This is all science too, like what? And that's why I'm just like, like man, this is stuff so easy to like grasp, but then at the same time, it just seems like magic to some people, but that's okay. We're getting past the, the magical part and we're getting into how is this magic science and how can we manipulate it, okay? So we have the air, um, again, that is programmable because it is a substance. It's a molecular substance that has a vibrational frequency, signature, what have you, okay? And that can be influenced by thoughts plus emotions. So when you say that I want this breath that I take in to be filled with light, and love and healing I am light I am love and I am healed I took that into my being I took that molecular essence of air I programmed it before I took the breath I programmed it and the vibrations go is everywhere so I don't have to like direct it towards my nostrils or direct it towards anyways. It's just because I put it out into my energetic field, my auric body or whatever, it made that any air that came in that passed this auric field come in and be what I said that I wanted to be. The problem comes in when you're not thinking about what you want it to be and then what ends up happening is all the air you take in, all the food you take, anything that you take into this vessel is at the mercy of somebody else's programming or somebody else's influence. You don't want that, all right? So that's why we're bringing attention, bringing awareness to what we're doing because we can't allow nobody else to do it for us. I, I think I said all that I have to say. Um... Just to show you how serious I am and how real I am. I literally just like threw a shirt on, threw this hat on. And I'm like, okay, on camera because I got to get this out. Like my, my higher self is telling me like, Ish, it's time. It's time. <sighs> Y'all, we healing out here. We are healing out here. Say what? Yeah, authentic. I feel this. I just, this whole thing. I'm going to have to do some editing just because there's a lot of extra and don't nobody be want to be watching no 20-minute video. I get it, but that's why it's edited out just because I do a lot of extra stuff that I know people don't even need. But if you want it, you can have it. I'll send you the unedited version. But anyways, um, so... Back to the breath work, back to why it's important for you to grasp the concept of being consciously aware of the molecular substance that you are voluntary, voluntarily taking in to this vessel. I'm going to say that one more time. You need to become aware of the molecular substance that you are voluntarily taking into this this vessel so the air you breathe the water you drink the food you eat can all be blessed or set with healing intentions did you know that that's what all blessing is is setting intentions into this molecular substance we call earth that's it that's all that's it that's all I love you. I love you so very much. And it is for this reason that I have to do this. Because we're all connected. Okay? And the sooner we're all healed, the sooner we all heal. You feel me? With that, um, continue your breath work. The next video... 
Um, I don't know what it'll be, but uh, if you have questions, if you need further information, if you would like to go more into detail about anything that I just said, anything, please, 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 please reach out. Please. <laughs> I just, I, I, I just need, I need people to understand. Okay. Um, it could seem like I'm forcing this on people, but I mean, we, I ain't got no choice. I don't have a choice. I do not have a choice. I mean, I do, I do have a choice, but me choosing to reject my calling, so to speak, cause that's what it would be. That wouldn't be good for me. So I don't have a choice. I'm doing what I was meant to do. And this is not easy, okay? But it never is, and that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. With that, I leave you. In the love and the light of the one most high, I pray you well. I pray you have understanding. I pray you have acceptance. I pray you have courage to continue on this journey that seems so enduring, but it is so worth it. It really is. In the grand scheme of things, I'm telling you, it's really worth it. Thank you.